Okay, so uh, let's start. Thank you for coming. You are, you are a lot. Quite an audience. Uh, we are going to present you uh, an hardware software optimization tool, which is a uh, part uh, of the Modus toolset. So the Modus is, uh, is an FP7 European Commission funded project, uh, which uh, aims to bring some, uh, some uh, embedded systems technologies to uh, to a system. So uh, before starting uh, the technical stuff, let's uh, present uh, ourselves. We are uh, Shafiq Jaber and Yann Lecler, engineer at uh, N3 Systems, which is a uh, uh, French SMS specialized in, uh, in radio navigation and, uh, and application radio navigation. So uh, our activities include, uh, for instance, uh, radio navigation, technical studies, airport application, technical transportation, etc. And uh, we are implied in several national and European projects. And the use is one of this uh, So, what about uh, the Modus project? Uh, as I said, uh, the, the aim of the project is to, uh, to help uh, European SMS to improve the positioning uh, in the embedded system market. Uh, Modus is a set of uh, open and, uh, and customizable uh, methodology and uh, associated uh, tools. Uh, in, in the modus, we have uh, four, four main uh, technical uh, modules. Uh, first one is called uh, model verification, uh, which helps uh, to, to select uh, existing uh, existing open source model to, to verify the software you are designing. Uh, second uh, module is uh, the hardware software simulation module, which brings uh, hardware software uh, simulation capabilities to, uh, to SMS. A third, third one, a third, third module is a software performance tuning optimization module, which is uh, bringing together with a customizable source code generation module. Uh, an important point is that a module does not claim to be competitive with uh, major tools in, uh, in the market. But to bring the technology to, to, to the SMS, to the SMEs, which, uh, be, because uh, the major tools are, are very expensive, so we bring, uh, bring them open source technology. So, uh, the main point, uh, the basis of, uh, of this project was that uh, the embedded system design is, uh, is big. He is uh, really more and more complex with uh, lots of uh, applications, uh, more and more features and functionalities. And it's becoming really difficult to, to handle all these functionalities, and especially for, uh, for small companies. Uh, so these companies uh, need uh, some, uh, some new methodologies and some, some new uh, associated tools to, uh, to handle uh, this complexity. This was the starting point of, of our project. And uh, what we are trying to, to bring, uh, bring uh, these companies is a, is a methodology based on the well not white chart approach. Uh, with this approach, we make a clear separation between what is the architecture and what is the application of our system. We uh, map them together to, to make the system. We analyze this system. And uh, then we perform based on the result of this analysis and changes either in the architecture or in the application and we read uh, this kind of, uh, of approach rely on, uh, on an efficient and fast way to perform the different steps of the iteration. And uh, the actual implementation of, of such uh, methodology uh, rely on uh, a design simulation and analysis of uh, software models which are commonly known as a virtual platform. So we are bringing uh, methodologies with uh, uh, around the virtual platforms. Uh, 
this is uh, our approach. So you can see the, the white chart. Uh, we start with the modeling uh, on the left uh, of the architecture and the modeling of the application. Then we generate uh, for the architecture a virtual platform and software binaries for the application. We map the software binaries with the virtual platform to make an executable system, virtual system. And uh, we, uh, we simulate uh, the virtual, this virtual platform with the, the binaries. Uh, based on this result, uh, we can perform two and <coughs> read. So, about our workflow, we can uh, go deeper in the, in the details. Uh, the first step is the modeling of the architecture. The second step is the generation of the virtual platform, which is colon following by the uh, population and configuration of the virtual platform. And uh, we compare this virtual platform to map them with uh, the software binary. So on the left, you have the, the hardware design flow. On the, left, on, on the right, the software with design flow. Uh, the <coughs> modus server software for simulation uh, tool uh, target the left side on the, of the chart and uh, the other modus of the modus tool set uh, target the, the right side. So uh, we have uh, two main uh, main steps in the in the design flow. The first one is the uh, is architecture modeling. This is done using uh, the UML math uh, language. Basically, uh, our model is a structure composite diagram with uh, some restriction on the, on the construct. Uh, this construct uh, implies that the system is modeled as a set of components, and these components are inter interconnected through ports to, uh, to this. Uh, the different components are uh, stereotyped with a subset of the mapped hardware logical package and, uh, and some other properties. So we have a hardware processor, bus, uh, RAM, input-output device, and a hardware endpoint for the, for the port. Uh, the second main step is the virtual platform generation. Uh, this is rely on, uh, on SystemC and TLM20 technologies. So what is uh, SystemC? Uh, SystemC is a library for system modeling, which includes a simulation kernel. So uh, as many uh, hardware description language, language, with system C you can model a system with uh, use for channel, process, uh, events, uh, etc. Uh, TLM 2.0 is an extension to, uh, to system C. Uh, the, the purpose of uh, TLM 2.0 is, is to abstract the communication with a higher level of of transaction. Uh, basically, you, uh, with TLM 2.0 you, you make your module communicate with, uh, uh, with sockets. And this, uh, this extension of system C is really suited for the modeling of memory map, map uh, with systems. So uh, our virtual platform is based on these two technologies, system C and TLM20. Here uh, you can see an example of such a virtual platform. Uh, we generate uh, this virtual platform as, as a loosely time virtual platform. Uh, loosely time is a, is a kind of, uh, of coding style, which, uh, which is uh, the higher level of coding style of, of, coding style of TLM20. Uh, we generate uh, basically skeletons to be completed, completed by, uh, by users. So uh, users are asked to bring his own uh, intellectual properties uh, models into uh, these skeletons, with the exception of, uh, of uh, recurrent uh, modules like the bus or other memory, as well as a set of uh, specific props to collect uh, information during the simulation. So uh, to, to conclude with this uh, presentation part before the demonstration, uh, let's talk about the co-simulation environment. So, uh, as you can expect, uh, this uh, adverse of co-simulation is based on, on a piece. And we design it as a set of uh, specific plugins. So the first one is uh, the MDT Papyrus UML uh, model, which is used to generate the uh, UML map model. 
second one is a, is a generation engine based on, on the XLO technologies, in which we uh, we add our own template for system state generation. And the uh, last one is a configuration and complete and configure in completion module, which is based uh, uh, on Eclipse. At the end, you can uh, compile uh, your uh, your uh, generated system server platform with uh, with uh, whatever external tool you want. And a uh, uh, really convenient one is uh, the Eclipse uh, CDT uh, <coughs> for for C development. So let's now switch to uh, live demonstration. Whenever they will find a, uh, a 
hardware bus data type, they will call this script and generate the corresponding system C skeleton for this bus. In the specific case of our our blue chain, the, the bus is completely generated. You don't need to uh, to modify anything in the bus. And to verify, as we don't support all the multi-profile, we have a validation module done as well in, in Excelio based on queries and uh, some standard type of, of checking that verifies the model is syntactically correct, that all, mod all modules have ports and things like this. So when you run this script, you will be sure that your model is uh, correct and we ensure that, okay, you could use the system C uh, generated correctly. And in Eclipse, what is really nice, you could directly export this plugin. I will do the graphical interface. And I will use this plugin, the generated plugin now. On my UML mode I showed earlier, but before I need to start the case, taking into consideration the new plugin to, to generate the system simple. Again, the Excel we use is a sub, not a subset, but it, it's not covering all marks. So uh, we had a discussion with Ruby yesterday. On they probably would like to see how, how this is done, and uh, they have done things like this for you from you and to see, but they are not anymore supported. So if I open my UML model, I have now, if I right click to a .uml file, I have Axelio model to text, and my Axelio generator is called Modus Hardware Software Generator. Verify that no specific <coughs> validation error here. Okay. So I have the, the skeletons of the specific. Okay. This is specific. Uh, we generated the include the .h and the .cpp file so of the different of the various part of, of my model. So if I take, for, for instance, the processor, the microblade, comes has a thread, a specific thread that will be later on completed by the user to specify what, what, what her, uh, she wants to execute. We, we, we have put specific, we used specific Axelio constructs to say that there is zone of code like this one, start, start, start of user code, end of user code. This one, if you put any code here, when you regenerate the code, it will not, uh, with Excelio, it will not delete this code, this specific code, so you could modify your code and modify your model without using the already generated code. And here we have the system, which is, which is just, um, I'm creating this I'm creating this structure complex diagram in a C document, so I'm just instantiating the modules and uh, specifying the connection and specifying how to bind them to the specific uh, sockets, PTLM sockets that they produce. And here we have some parameters we already specified from So now I have a model, a code that could compile, but that do not does not any that does basic stuff because I don't have the code that will execute on the processor. Now I need, as as Jan presented in the, in the presentation. <coughs> 
I need the right part of the diagram that comes from someone else, from other team, software teams. I need software binaries. For this demo, we have defined, we have used as well another plugin of Eclipse Part 2. It's not us who developed this plugin. It's Linux who developed this one. So we have specified, we have specified a microblazed based model. We have just a microblazed memory and an MDN, which is UR, and two hardware modules, and this is the memory map we have chosen. So this is really basic uh, thing. We have elaborated a written a small <coughs> and it's just writing data from the uh, reading data, the microblaze, what was the microblaze do? So the microblaze <coughs> we just read data from the acquisition, send data to the positioning to get the exact positioning, get back the positioning data and re-inject it to the UR. And that's what, exactly what we've done here. We have taken the health code generated using the clips, the, the clips mining SDK and generated the, the memory the film, the memory of our virtual platform with this. I will show you now the project, the complete project with this. So in software binary, we have the memory button, which is the memory we represent in the F5. And now, we have not, this is the microblaze code I showed you earlier. We, add, we added some constructs, so it's the kind of constructs we add. And then we have a process which is said that will execute. Tap DLM code, and it will generate commands and send them through sockets to it. So it will execute the software binaries, but you would say how a model like this would, would execute software binaries. So we integrated a ISS, construction set simulators. They, they simulate the exact uh, behavior of the processor. They can read the processor of code that is in software binaries. And we take that and put it in this uh, payloads, the LM payloads, and send it, send it to the different sockets. So here we have, if, if I take a command and I will fetch it and uh, get the instruction, what, what type of instruction I have and what should I do, which address I should access, and if I if the address is, 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 in, in, is in a positioning module, which is hardware device, I should go and uh, call another socket, or it's in the memory and call Yet another socket and, and so on. So, if I execute this code, okay, this is just the um, debugging messages saying that microwaves and that and this is the generated UR output, so this is the positioning data. If I, we have internal tools in M3 systems that uh, can treat this type of data. I will just generate more visual data for you. Our company, which is in Lever North, like us, 25 kilometers south of the Toulouse. So, this is the tragic we did. Uh, if we go exactly here, we have our company. Okay. So, this, is, this ends the part where technical parts. Presented you a, a just demo of what, what we could do. 
our, our tool is a research tool, so if you have any remarks, suggestions, or questions, don't hesitate to so help us uh, integrate the tool. Uh, in this demo, we have a model of microblades that integrate a ISS, op uh, open source ISS. Everything is open source. Open source ISS that integrates software binaries from, generated directly from a for a real uh, architecture of file designings in this case. That have this model have a bus that have hardware devices. In this case, they were simple. They just uh, consisted in a reading or writing in, in a file. And and you are a view art of the system and the model. Thank you for that. On, on your last slide, I've seen this. Ah, yeah. 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 yeah, the software is compiled. The software binary is integrated in the microblade. <laughs> <laughs> are compiled with the Linux tools. Okay. Really, we use the external tools. As I showed, this is uh, this is SDK. It's completely developed by Linux. Okay. Okay. Have you done any attempt to model the behavior also? With a multi or five. Uh, in fact, as we are in Y and we are in bigger projects, so what is this? Uh, it, it's a track, so we have partners trying to model the software behavior, but uh, I don't think they are using the multi. They are not using multi. They are modeling the software behavior, and we are not modeling the hardware behavior for the moment. Not in the, the frame of this project. Which kind of formalism? Are they using for the DNA? So, proper uh, state diagram. The problem is, is here we had we had to make a lot of choices. Uh, as you have seen, we, we have we have three or four plugins, and we should integrate them, and we have a lot of surprises that we can expect. Them. And uh, defending using UML already in a company is, is a big challenge. And uh, defending using a specific profile of UML in a company is another. And what is the future of that? Do you have any plans to continue, to improve? To we are planning to develop a second version, more simple for the, the ESMs. Uh, as well, as I said, we are in a European project, and we are developing this tool for ESMs, which are our plans. We are developing a second version, and. Uh, Maybe there will be a project for this one. Yeah. Could, could imagine one day using this for a real NSS receiver, complete one, but still we, we need more uh, maturity in the 